Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. March is over. I cannot believe we are a quarter of the way through 2023 already. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be familiar with this. At the end of every month, I go through my empty skincare, hair care, makeup products for the month and just do a little bit of a review. So, without further ado, I'm gonna start on something a little bit odd. Shower gel. <laughs> I don't normally review shower gel. However, if I received it in a beauty box, then I'll talk about it. So the first shower gel is 23 pounds. Like I said, I received this in a beauty box. I cannot afford 23 pounds on a shower gel. However, if I get one in a box, I'm definitely using it. So this is by a brand called Nurius London. I'm terrible at saying brand names. It is their Madagascan Pink Pepper Shower Gel. This was 250ml. The shower gel itself, I really liked. It was like quite a thick gel, which I like, not too runny. The smell of this one in particular, I found a little bit too strong and overpowering. So it wouldn't be something that I specifically go out and buy because of the fragrance, obviously, and the price. The other one is by Bubble Tea. Um, you might see these a lot in beauty boxes. This is 100ml. A lot more reasonable, this one, at £5. Again, I would say very much the same as the last one. Good consistency, like a thicker gel, which I like, but the smell, again, not for me. This was the Neroli and Tangerine. So there you go. Oh, I've got one more. This is an Old Faithful Rituals. It is their shower foaming shower gel. I do like this. A lot more runnier though. And again, I think these are around the same sort of price, like about five, six quid. Right, let's get into a little bit more stuff. What have I got? I have a Foreo, a Foreo device. I'm actually thinking of doing a separate video on my Foreo device. If that would be of interest, let me know. But in order to make a Foreo machine work, you have to purchase the little kind of mask packs. So they come in boxes of like, I don't know, I think there might be about six to eight in each one. I've got a day one and a night one here. But yeah, it feels nice. I mean, I think for me it's more like just taking the time to like give yourself a bit of a facial. Nip and Fab. I have used their Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. So these are like individual circle pads. There are 60 in a pot. It's got a value of £17. And I use these actually on my no makeup days, just like in the morning or before going to bed, just to kind of take the day off really um, and freshen my skin up. Kiehl's Toner. So I've got a 75ml one here. This is the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. The big size of 250ml is £39. I've spoken about this before. It's very odd to me because you have a toner so it's like pure liquid. But then, I don't know if you can see, there's just like these bits of obviously the plant, like whatever the calendula is. Obviously to infuse the toner, I get it. But I always find that whenever I'm putting this onto a cotton pad, like bits are coming out as well, which I find really off-putting. It could do with having a bit of like a filter at the top so that only the liquid comes through rather than all of the planty bits. Actually, one time I did put it on a pad and wipe my face and then didn't realise like a bit was like still on my skin. So yeah, but you know what, it's a nice, it's a nice toner. It's very soothing. I'm going a bit all over the place today. I'm gonna to go makeup now. I have discovered this brand for foundation. I am wearing it now. I've been wearing it all the time. I am a complete convert. This is the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Foundation. The shade I'm wearing is 10 Cool Cashmere. And it's so cheap. It's like five, six, seven quid. And I really like it, I think it's really good. It's a little bit tricky to buy because I haven't found it in any of like the high street stores. You can buy it on Amazon, you can buy it also on Just My Look, which is a makeup, online makeup um, e-shop. 
if you can give it a go. Drunk Elephant. This is their proteiny polypeptide cream. I only got a 5ml in a beauty box. However, 50ml of this is £57. So even this little pot is worth like six quid. A face cream, it was lovely. You know, for 5ml, I probably didn't get to use it enough to really like notice a difference, but the, the cream itself, it was very lightweight, um, kind of just like melted into the skin, I would say. And yeah, very expensive. Also, I've got a couple of products by Kate Somerville. I got this in a bit of a bundle set. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I wanna say like 20 quid. Um, but there was like an offer on at the time like this stuff is expensive again. The first thing I've got here is the Dermal Quench, <laughs> Dermal Quench Wrinkle Warrior. I can't actually find this exact one on their website anymore, but there's a lot of products like this with the squirty nozzle. So it's in like a spray and you kind of see it there. That went on my hand really liquidy um, when it was kind of full it goes on like like a liquid kind of like I don't even know how to explain it like bubbly I guess like a really harsh kind of spray but there are similar products to this um, a couple of different lines that look exactly like this with a squirty nozzle and they're 25 pound uh, for a small kind of 15 gram bottle and then I followed it up with the serum. Now this is still available. This is again their Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturiser and Serum. I got a little 15ml, but expensive 50ml is £86. Yeah, I've well and truly used all of this. It was lovely. Again, it smelled very refreshing, went on the skin light, but you know, enough that you could like feel it and kind of feel that you had like a barrier on your skin throughout the day. Thankfully I think I'm still young enough that wrinkles aren't too much of a concern for me at the moment but definitely need to be aware of them and start thinking about them so obviously I didn't see like masses of difference but I enjoyed using them anyway. I've got a cleansing balm here from Emma Hardy. This is £20 for 30 grams. Cleansing balms at the moment are my thing. I absolutely love them. It's like, where have you been all my life? And certainly for like the last year, over a year, just always use cleansing balms. I haven't found a cleansing balm that I didn't like yet. Um, Emma Hardy, obviously a great brand and yeah, just wonderful, a treat. I just love it and my skin honestly ever since using just cleansing balms is so much better. Then I have a facial oil by Dr. Botanicals. This is their Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. This is 15ml, it's £20. Um, for me, the oil itself was quite liquidy, quite watery. Not that that really mattered but you do kind of think for an oil there might be a little bit more like you know, thickness to it. It really smelled of rose. And if you don't like the smell of rose, I wouldn't recommend this product because you do go around stinking after you put it on your face. But to be honest, it's very lightweight. Like a lot of oils, obviously being oils, they can sit quite heavy, whereas this didn't. It was fine. If I got it again, I would use it. Am I going out to buy it? No. Also in the fact it's 20 quid. Okay, got some everyday bits here. Shampoo and conditioner from Tresemme. Not like the standard Tresemme stuff. This is their, from their pro collection. Um, one is hemp and hydration with hemp seed oil and hibiscus and the conditioner, so that's the shampoo. And the conditioner is their purify and hydrate with hyaluronic acid and white clay. The 400 ml bottles are about three, four quid each. Yeah, I did notice a difference in like how my hair felt afterwards sometimes after using some of the like the cheaper shampoos and conditioners my hair can feel quite like heavy and waxy whereas this did just make it feel silky and clean and light if that makes sense something that also features quite a lot in my empties reviews is a beauty pro warming eye mask 
I love a warming eye mask. If you can't get to sleep, if you've got a headache, whack a warming eye mask on and solves all of your problems. Um, single sachet here, but you can buy the five packs for about £12. This is a little bit of a blast from the past. It still exists. This is a Sanctuary Spa Silky Smooth Body Lotion. The packaging has changed. It looks a lot nicer now and it's got like a pump top, whereas this just had like a... Ugh. <laughs> a squidgy top, um, body lotion, yeah, lightweight, put it on in the morning and just kind of sinks into your skin, liked it, 250ml is £7.50, another kind of body cream, well I used it as a body cream, it is by a brand called Tweaked by Nature, Tweaked spelt T-W-E-A-K apostrophe D. What are you called? A Restore Coconutty All-Purpose Rescue Cream featuring nuts, banana, oats and honey. It sounds like a breakfast but it is a lovely cream, it's a thick cream, it just glides onto the skin, it smells lovely. Interestingly on the top of the lid here it says it's a 5-in-1 all-purpose cream, instantly helps to replenish and protect the skin's moisture barrier. Use it AM as a cream. Oh no, use it as an AM cream, PM cream, eye cream, makeup primer and body cream. So I didn't use this on my face at all, so I can't vouch for that. I did use it as a body cream and it was wonderful. I think this kind of thing is meant to be good if you have like, you know, patches of dry skin or eczema. I'm not a doctor so don't quote me on that, but I just kind of used it as an everyday Moisturiser, it says here it's ideal for dry damaged skin, but the £28 gives you a, I mean it's a reasonably sized pot, it's 148.8 grams, but it's not like one of those big, like this, and I'll come on to this next. <laughs> this is a body scrub, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I got it in Australia, so it's probably going to be pretty tricky to find here. It's by a brand called A Puri Made. It cost about £20. It's an exfoliating body scrub and it was wonderful. If you watch my channel, you will know that when it comes to exfoliators, I like a scrub. It needs to be very hard and very harsh to actually feel like it's doing something. I don't want to be tickled. It needs to be a scrub and this was very much a scrub. It had jelly bush honey in. Don't know what a jelly bush is. Uh, coconut and mandarin. Slightly odd smelling, but you get used to it. Um, micellar water. It's an old faithful. You're going to see it. I use anything by Garnier Skin Active. To be honest with you, it's normally whatever's on offer. So the green one, the yellow one, the blue one, the pink one, whatever. Um, 400 ml. I tend to spend about four pound on. I think these are about six pound full price. Got a product here by Barry M. This is their lip rehab nourishing mask. I bought this because I wanted like a really intensive burst of moisture to my lips because certainly at the start of the year my lips were like quite dry with the cold weather. This was fine. It was very thick. I would almost go as far to say it was, it's almost like a lip gloss and can be a bit like, you guys know what I mean. Five pounds. I'm not rushing out to buy it again, something like a Carmex, but Bee Stick is what I've got on the go now, which seems to be just as well and doesn't kind of sit on my face in the way that this did. And finally, the last product, and I'm so sorry, it's always a way that the second I sit down to do a video, my neighbours decide to mow the lawn, let the kids play outside, decide that now's the time to have the Tesco delivery and a load of noise, so apologies if you can hear that. I'm kind of thinking it might not pick up on the microphone, but anyway. This is the Sukin Foaming Facial Cleanser. This one is 125ml, it's worth £8. As we know, cleansers come in all shapes and sizes, in gels and creams, in balms, in foams. This one is very much a gel cleanser. I would almost say more like a face wash. Like I use some products that brands called face wash. To me, I kind of see them as the same thing because it's like a gel, almost like a shower gel for your face. But yeah, it was nice, did the job, very, you know, refreshing. 
love a pump tarp just to, you know, get it out so you're not messing about with lids and stuff in the shower, but yeah, I liked it. So that is everything from this month. Let me know what you think, if you've used these products, your thoughts, or if you think that there's a product here similar to something you've used that you think I might like, let me know. But thank you ever so much for joining me on another video. It's so great to see you. I really appreciate the support. If you wouldn't mind quickly taking the time to click the like button and hit on subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot. And yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.